Congrats on the movie. You guys are good together. Um, Isabella, and I could be wrong about this, but I heard that you became good at copying Jason or embodying Jason during the shoot. And I'm wondering if you can tell the secret of sort of copying him. It's all in the look. By the way, hi. I feel like I see you everywhere. <laughs> I saw you recently for uh, like a few months ago, actually. Yeah. Um, to Jason, what is it? You just got to make your voice real low and raspy. Kind of like a little, yeah. Because he doesn't care. He's just, he's so, he's so cute. You got to kind of squint your eyes a little bit. Like, like you're sleepy, but not like plastic surgery facelift. It's like sleepy. So, and then it's like, it's like, um, and it's like, <laughs> look through the eyebrows. Really raise those eyebrows. I don't know how, but his eyebrows are like raising to the head, to the head. <laughs> like, I guess Jason hasn't seen this before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, listen, I, for, for the two of you, I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of a movie. I love learning stuff that people don't know. For each of you, what do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of Sweet Girl? I mean, to me, it was one of the silliest, funnest times I've ever had. I mean, it's such a serious topics we're tackling, and I feel like um, it was the best production I've ever been a part of. I don't say that just because we produced it, but it, it truly it is. I had everyone that I love behind it. Um, we're all excited to be there, and I think her and I are pretty, and even Adele and Manu, we're all real goofballs and we have a lot of fun. So it's in all the seriousness, I feel like it was one of the best experiences I've ever had on any set. Oh, I'm definitely going to say the same. Um, a lot of these topics are really personal to me in my real life. Like they, they apply almost uh, pretty directly. So, and so it was like rough. It, you would expect it to be rough, right? You would expect it to be a journey, emotional, go to therapy after the movie, maybe perhaps, but because of the cast, and because of like who I was around and um, especially during that scene where we were in the hospital and the mother is dying, the played by Adri Arjona, who is an amazing person. She'd never seen herself in prosthetics. She'd never seen herself look so sick and she was having a really hard time. I mean, she's dying over and over again in a scene. And my first instinct was to just make her laugh. That was it. Like I, I cannot... I can't be one of those people that's like always in character off scene because that's how you lose yourself. So my technique in doing dark movies like this is just have some freaking fun. I am curious, uh, Jason, you really deliver an emotional performance in that hallway. And I'm curious uh, what it was like for you going to that place and filming that sequence because it's like it's shot handheld, you're in a real location. I'm sure you can't do this 10 times and deliver that same emotion. Can you sort of talk about filming that sequence? Yeah, it was tough because it wasn't designed that way. And uh, I pulled Brian aside and uh, I asked him, I said, I'd like to I'd like to walk away and kind of blocked and walk through it into the elevator, put some extras right here, walk this hallway, have some extras there. And just kind of get to a, a, a quiet hallway. He's kind of trapped in this one space, but it just overtakes him. I think rooted down in all of it, um, <clears throat> we did one take where the camera actually hit, because they're going backwards while they're in front of me and they hit the wall and I can see it happening. So I can see them going into it and it's just like shit and they, you know, just clobber this wall. <laughs> Sucks because you're fully in it and you feel bad for everyone and obviously they feel bad too because you're in it. And um yeah, you're right. I mean, it's nice when you you answer the question for me. You can't do it ten times, man. It's it's you only have so many, and I I also don't want to be in that pain. You know, we try to get away from it. So it's 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 to do it real and live in it is is the first time I've had to do that. It's it's looking at Adria and looking at um, Isabella, and you hire the people around you that you really believe that are gonna lift you up and make your performance better. Um, it's pretty easy because I just look down at them and I love them both dearly and. And that's what uh, gets you to that place. And then uh, hopefully you just do it right. And and then we got to that hallway. There's just certain things that came out of my body I just never heard before. So that's like I, I was, I've said, uh, I've never lost anyone yet of that kind of impact. So that's why it's uh, an all new, all new territory for me. Yeah, you, you're great in that in that scene. And uh, and like I said before, you guys are great together. Um, I got to wrap. Uh, thank you both so much for talking with me. And I'm just going to say I cannot fucking wait for Dune. That's it.
Buddy. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to go to it right after this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 